Hi, we are Boostcommerce, the team behind Shopify Advanced Filter and Search App. And today we will walk you through 7 tips to optimize website navigation for your Shopify store to increase conversion rate. First, you need to understand what is website navigation. According to HubSpot, website navigation is a collection of user interface components that helps visitors find content and features on a site. These components take the form of copy, link text and buttons, and menus. In short, good website navigation helps website users find what they need in the fastest way without any confusion. Based on the definition, there are five important types of website navigation you need to pay attention to. They are site structure, menu system, search function, filter navigation, and website content. So, why website navigation is crucial to your e-commerce business? A trustworthy website needs a good navigation system. According to a survey done by Clutch, 94% of consumers say they want an easy-to-navigate website. If it is messy, there is a high chance they will exit within a few seconds. Therefore, good navigation will help you increase time on page, decrease the bounce rate. Also, it will improve your search ranking, your user experience overall and ultimately increase your conversion rate as many case studies have proved that website navigation plays a major role in e-commerce success. Now, you know the benefit. Let's dive into the 7 tips to optimize your website navigation. Tip number 1, website navigation should cater to customer. This is the most important one. To persuade people to use our products or services, we first have to know who they are, what are their pain points, so we come up with a strategic plan to convert more prospects into paying customers. When it comes to optimizing website navigation, it's not much different. For example, if you want to optimize menu navigation, think about what page or what features they are most visited, so you can put them in the main menu, and limit menu items to the most important ones. Or for internal site search, start researching about what search terms your shoppers are likely to put in, what products they are searching for, what queries they put in but you don't have relevant results, and so on. You can start researching by using Google Analytics. In the admin panel, go to Behavior, Site Content, All Page. Then in the search box, you put in, slash, search, question mark to filter all search query. Knowing the data, you may think about using an advanced search app to better enhance your customer search experience on site. Therefore, it doesn't matter which type of navigation you're optimizing, you need to build them according to customers' wants and needs. Tip number two, use short, descriptive menu titles. Try to avoid abstract names or a brand name on your menu titles since it may confuse the user with a question like, what is in for me if I click this link? If they do not see what they are looking for, they will hit back immediately. Moreover, research by Resnick and Sanchez in 2004 found that the quality of labels had a great effect on the number of products customers were able to find. Thus, clear and concise labeling can go a long way in aiding in product discovery and purchase likelihood. Also, it saves up your space on the website and makes your website look clear and clean. Tip number three, better to use a mega menu. For a Shopify store, using a mega menu is a better option than using a traditional drop-down one as you may have a lot of products and categories to show. Your customer will see all the options available at once instead of hovering over them one by one in the drop-down menu. It creates a smooth navigation experience overall. Tip number four, optimize your navigation for mobile devices. The smaller screen size of mobile devices presents additional challenges when it comes to navigation. You get less space to read and click. Therefore, everything on the navigation system needs to be redesigned to fit on mobile screens. If you only think of a hamburger menu as a solution, it's not enough. Here are some other tips for you. Don't list your primary navigation options on every screen. Ensure that the trigger for the menu is easily seen. Ensure your touch targets meet the minimum viable size. Serve smaller sized images. Tip number five, pay more attention to internal search. According to eConsultancy, 30% of e-commerce sites visitors like Shopify use internal search, and those who use search spend 5 to 6 times more than those who don't. That is a massive number. Although Shopify is a great platform for e-commerce, when it comes to internal site search, it offers just basic features that cannot meet up the demand. To solve this problem in Shopify, you have to use a third-party search app. For example, 
With Boost Commerce's advanced filter and search app, you can enhance your site search functionality with Search suggestion Typo tolerant No search result suggestions Synonyms And many more helpful features. With this major improvement, you not only ensure your online consumers will find what they are looking for through search but also boost conversion rates overall. Tip number 6, put your most selected filters on top. You can save a lot of time for your customers using this way. Also, this will be another way to promote your popular products naturally. Each store will have different preferred filters, it could be based on season, type, or best deal. Take the Nintendo store for example. They put deal, DLC available, demo available, and Nintendo Switch Online compatible. On top of their filter knowing their customer will look for those. However, Shopify's basic filtering options do not support you to do that. You have to rely on a third-party filter app again. Look for a product filtering solution that allows you to filter by tags or meta fields, then you can use this tip easily. Tip number 7, always show customers where they are. Sometimes, people like to wander around your site. If you don't have a UI hint to show where they are, you will make them feel like getting lost. It's a very frustrating experience and potential consumers will drop off your store. To give shoppers a clear sense of where they are is not hard. There are many ways to do it like using breadcrumb, having a category slash menu title, or highlighting the current menu in the menu bar. Now, we have shown you 7 tips to optimize your Shopify website navigation to better increase conversion rate. If you have any questions, please let us know by leaving your comments down below. And if you like our video please subscribe to our channel for more valuable content in the future. See you next time.